Fan TV. Follow us on social media, different platforms. Music by Final Girl Sand. And the jury noted that the abuse defense was not a factor in this choice, but it decided not to impose the death penalty because none of the brothers had prior criminal history or history of violence. The jury decided that they believed the brothers killed their parents in order to get their father's wealth, not because they were scared of the father. For more than 20 years, Lyle and Eric were in prison separately, with Lyle in Mule Creek State Prison in Ion, California, and Eric being at Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility in San Diego County. The brothers did not speak for years, but only communicated through letters. In February 2018, Lyle was transferred to another housing unit at Richard J. Donovan in San Diego County. And that April of 2018, Eric was moved into the same unit as Lyle. In 2021, TikTok videos started circulating online that the brothers were innocent. And this started getting very trendy online and it was something that was being spoken by the news almost three decades after the convictions cliff garner one of the brothers appellate attorneys told 48 hours that new evidence had come to light that lyle and eric were telling the truth about being abused in may 2023 gardner filed a petition asking that the brothers convictions be vacated Eric Menendez testified that it never ended for him. And he finally confided in his older brother Lyle days before the crime at the age of 18. The first piece of new evidence was a letter that attorney Cliff Gardner says was written by Eric Menendez to his cousin Andy in December 1988, about eight months before the killings. The letter reads in part, I've been trying to avoid that. It's still happening, Andy, but it's worse for me now. Every night I stay up thinking he might come in. Gardner said this was proof of the abuse happening. And then last year in 2023, a member of the band Menudo, Roy Roseo, broke his silence on a documentary that was featured on Peacock. The documentary was called Menendez Plus Menudo, Boys Betrayed. Roseo is now 54 years old, but he said in a sworn affidavit filed in 2023 that he went to Jose's Menendez home in the fall of 1983 or 84. Roseo would have been 14 or 15 at the time. He said he drank a glass of wine. Then he felt like he had no control over his body. Jose Menendez took him to a room and basically did something I can't mention in this video. Bill stated in the petition that he was sexually abused by Jose Menendez on two other occasions, right before and right after performance at Radio City Music Hall in New York. The LA County District's Attorney's Office told 48 Hours that they are investigating the claim made in this petition. Ultimately, it would be up to a judge to decide whether the conviction should be vacated. And if they are vacated, then it would be up to the DA's office as to whether they would retry the case. Lyle Mendes awaits a judge ruling as we speak. The brothers have had multiple attempts of appeals over the decades, but they keep getting denied. We'll see what happens next. The story is still developing. And once again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. We got more videos on the way.